Okay, y'all, so I've figured that um, as I'm getting these mowers out um, slowly whenever I have time during the week, I'm just going to make kind of a conglomeration of videos of the rejects slash mishaps slash what were they thinking, um, so to speak, for the owners of these push mowers before they were returned back to Walmart in this case. I've got two and I got two back to back here. It happens. I mean, I know that I'm not going to have perfect lawnmowers. These right here never fail. Every single pallet or every single load that I have gotten that has had these type mowers on it has had one of them with a blown engine. And this is the same same case. They're never they never like blow a hole in the block or anything like that. They always just blow a um, connecting rod on the inside. And if I can get my rag over here, I'll we'll check the oil in it. And um, it had oil in it, but I don't know if it was put in after the fact or before. But let me pull the dipstick out and put y'all put y'all down for a second. So if we look at the dipstick, you see you have metal in it there. Hopefully y'all can see that. And it actually it actually appears that the crankcase is dry on it because you pull it out. I didn't know if, you know, it just blew the rod or something like that. But you can see this mower has very minimal use on it. So it was probably a classic case of, oops, I forgot to put oil in it type deal. But it never fails. These with the 6, they used to be 625 series. They bumped them up to the 675 series. Three in one big wheel with a bag. It never fails that I have at least one in every pallet load that I get that is blown up. So just keep an eye out for those mowers in particular. They're on the pricey side too for what they are. The next one here, I have not had any of these ever actually until this year. Fun fact, this is the um, 21 inch version. It's the same deck as that one actually. Um, just with small wheels and a smaller motor, um, the 300 series Briggs, and this one, I guess in the what were they cutting or what did they hit category, has a severely bent blade on it, and I'm honestly surprised that with it hitting something that hard, that it did not actually, it could have flywheel key issues, not sure about that, but that it didn't actually crack the back portion of the base plate here, which, yeah, it's not cracked, I do see a little bit of a, I guess it's just a defect in the paint, because it's not leaking oil or anything, but man, whatever they hit was something else. So, I just wanted to share those two with y'all. Um, what I'm going to do for now, this one will go under the house and wait for a, an engine. And this one will get the blade off of that one. And I'll put it together. If I have any further issues with this one, that does not include carb clean, which is a couple of videos prior to this one. Or just some other regular things, I'll keep you updated. But if not, the next one of the rejects, if I had one, will follow after this. So this isn't really a reject, but this is kind of a couple interesting tidbits that I found. Um, like I said, it's, it's always kind of like a, a mixed bag as to what you're going to find whenever you get a lawnmower or get these pallets, especially when you take them out of the boxes. It's like literally like a mystery box every time. But I just want to show you a weird difference. I noticed that um, there's actually only one hole here. There's usually three holes for um, a handle adjustment. I've been noticing more and more um, single hole um, 
so you don't really have an option to um, change the kind of the height position depending on how tall you or short you are for the handle it'll kind of move the top part of the handle just a little bit higher or a little bit lower depending on the three holes this one only has one this one the exact same mower has three different positions so it doesn't make any sense both of them are the exact same spec and get this the data manufacturer on this one is 32719 and this one is 32519 so they were basically sorry that one's a little hot they were made within two days of each other I don't know if they were made at the same factory or not but Another interesting thing is that these things come from all over the place to the Walmart distribution center. Let me show you all. So this one came from somewhere, 19977 I believe is the zip code and it says uh, Smyrna, Delaware. And on the same, I guess, truck that these came on, not necessarily the same pallet, but this one came from Alachua, Florida. So that was the that was the one here, and then the one from Delaware came, or was that was the one from Delaware, and then the big wheel one, Mount Crawford, Virginia. So I mean, they come from all over the place. It's actually kind of fun to see kind of where each of them comes from. I don't don't want to delve in the boxes too much, but that's just an interesting tidbit. I guess it's just kind of they just throw whatever they want to. Parts wise, it may be leftovers, it may just be, you know, a different assembly line that it came down. So that's just a fun fact. I'll keep looking. And this one actually is brand new, never been used. So compared to that one, which um, actually ended up having the severely bent blade and actually had a broken front wheel on it, um, swap the wheel out, it was good. So let me keep going. Let's see if I can find any more rejects for y'all. All right, y'all, another reject here. Um, on the up top part it looks fine and then underneath not only you can probably see have they bent the shaft on it the crankshaft they have also bent the blade on this side and whatever they hit they hit so hard that if I can get it turned give me just a second a chunk is missing out of the blade key and it's actually a little off center as well so oh my um, I have had success in straightening the shafts out on these before which I have shown sorry for the shaky camera so I may attempt to do that if I don't find one that's blown up um, but my goodness, this thing hit something hard. So there's another one. If I find it's actually pulled up off of the, looks like it's pulled up off of the mount off the front too. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to, have to look at it. The good thing is the base plate isn't broken. So if I have one with a broken base plate, I can swap it out if I need to. But yeah, so there's another reject for y'all. Let me see if I find any more as I keep working. Alright, so i got a couple more for y'all. This one right here, I don't know what. It's almost like somebody tried to run this into like tree stumps or something because the deck is recessed. The, the clearance of the blade is fine, but the only really, really remnant you can see is that this is recessed in the front here and that it's bent right here. It's still track straight and everything, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, probably hasn't really weakened the integrity of the deck unless you run into more stumps with it. Uh, these decks are very thin anyways on these hyper tufts. but this one was running like surging um, and I thought it may be an oily spark plug but if you can see down there you can see that the spark plug is not all the way in on it so <laughs> I'm going to do that and hopefully oh, it's, I was saying hopefully it's not cross threaded or Something's preventing it, but it looks like it's going in. So that should allow it to run a whole lot better than it was. 
because I checked the carburetor on it and uh, it was fine. And then another one I just pulled out of the box over here. Don't ask me why, it has been used. But the gas line is cut off and it's missing the gas tank. And it got returned that way. So, who knows? But, if I, like I said, if I see any more, um, I'll let you know. And if it's, they don't come in ones, I guess they comes in, come in pairs, because this is the, the next one that I pulled out of a box, and it has the same thing missing on it. Gas tank. Thankfully, I've got a couple here. That one's running now, so that's good. Um, a couple of gas tanks to put on, but I really don't like uh, having to put parts like gas tanks on, because those can get real expensive if I don't have them. So, anyways, I don't, I don't really get it, because they're used unless somebody uh, came by and stole them when they weren't in the box or something. I don't, I don't quite understand why they're missing the gas tanks. But, um... Yeah, like I said, you never know what you're going to get with these mowers. So, I'll uh, put a gas tank on this one, get it running, and keep on working. So, no kidding, the next one I pulled out of the box, it's not an empty box, I got the mower in it. That would be really bad if there was no box, or there was no mower in the box. There's just a bunch of random parts that don't even pertain to a uh, push mower that was in a plastic bag. And so, I got it out and I pulled it. And I uh, heard a clunking sound, and this is what I found under here. Some sort of electrical device that got run over. Probably either like a light or something of that nature that was hidden in a somebody's yard. They hit it and there was a big clunk, and they probably thought that uh, something came off the mower, since they put the parts in a plastic bag and put it inside with the mower for a return so good good thing is blade sharp it's got compression um, hopefully didn't shear a flywheel key if not that's the easy fix but still I'll tell you what this has been some of the craziest stuff I've seen so far on this mower lot that I've seen in previous mower lots that's kind of outside the norm so to speak so I'm gonna clean this up get this out get this one going so this one had gas in it, which if you know, you see it down there, if you know, if you've watched my previous videos and whatnot, you know that um, Walmart's supposed to get rid of all the gas and whatnot that are in these uh, mowers. I think they're supposed to get rid of the gas and the oil um, that are in the mowers, but uh, usually they don't worry about the oil since I guess it's, it's contained and less combustible. Um, and they're already labeled as hazardous materials whenever they're transported. This one had gas in it. I've done getting close to 200 of these, and this is only the second one that I've seen that has had gas in it. The other one, oddly enough, was blown up. But uh, just another, like I said, another interesting thing about another one of these rejects. This one's actually in good shape, though. Um, we're going to see if it'll run. It is missing... Uh, one of the bolts though they put a screw in there instead of one of the shoulder bolts that's in there so but tighten it down looks good so i feel like this video is getting long and i didn't realize it's going to have this many rejects in this one um another thing this one's got the white powder in it i don't know if y'all can see it in there there it is uh, some of the uh, walmarts do that in order to dilute the gas to make it not flammable and whatnot I'm going to do a separate video on this one, um, depending on what order it is, you might see it come before, you might see it come after this video, but in addition to the white powder, this one right here also will not, um, will not turn, so I think it's seized, but I don't think it is uh, terminally seized, so we're going to try and get that one going, that'll make for a fun video, like I said, depending on the filming order, maybe a little bit before and a little bit after, I think there's a couple more that are like this as well, with the white powder in them. This is the first one that's seized up that doesn't, it's not blown up, that didn't throw a connecting rod. As you can see it got used a little bit and there's no oil in it. So, it's 
what makes me think. Well, there's a little oil in it. It's because I turned it, but it was, it's very low on oil, and like I said, it seized up. So, on to the next one. So here I have another reject. Um, as you can see, this one's been used um, pretty heavily. I don't know if I can get under the under the mower. But I can give you all a look right here. Um, you can see where the blade is bent right there, actually. So I'm going to have to put a blade on it. I can't really look down there. So this, this one hit something pretty hard. I tried to pull it, and it's like got smoke coming out both ends, and it's not giving the head gasket symptoms. So I took the um, bolt, the uh, nut off for the, let me do that actually, take the nut off for the flywheel cup. And, uh... I don't know if you could do this any more perfectly, but this this flywheel key is basically turned 180 degrees on the flywheel, so that is uh, kind of funny, which is probably why it tried to fire and it was not ripping the cord out of my hand. So, uh, just another reject. I'm get I'm almost done. I've only got maybe four or five more, so we'll see what else I could come up with and. Um, if I come up with any more, it'll be after this. If not, I'll give you all a synopsis of, uh, I guess, the ones that were able to be fixed easily, the rejects, and the ones that were not. So this is the last one I've got now. I have the second to the last one running. I had a couple more that had the white powder in the tank that I cleaned out. Um, that is earlier in the video. But this is just one of the things. It's like, why did you have to put the stickers here? <laughs> So you see a lot of these people, a lot of these returns have those return stickers right here on the top of the handle. And uh, usually if they're on the side of the handle, I usually don't bother with them. If they're on the deck, I go ahead and take them off. But here with them being on the top of the handle, what happens is I peel them off and they disintegrate. And I'm not going to leave them on there because this is where your hand is rest while you're cutting grass. And so it's just a matter of just peeling and using a little bit of carb cleaner or something to get the sticky off. It's just time consuming. So it's like you could put them anywhere else and I'd be just, ju excuse me, just fine. I promise I'm not turning into a teenager. Um, but it's like, why'd you have to put it here? Just uh, another fun fact, I guess. This one looks like it had been purchased and returned, and uh, they tried to sell it for on a well. This is about six months ago now for uh, eighty-three dollars and twenty-five cents, which is about what I get for them. So, just kind of a fun fact. 